All right, everybody. This camera set up here. Sorry about the shaking. Um, all right. Um, I guess I need to say the whole spiel. Um, Glen Trey or Trey Wilderness. Um, so those of you who follow us know that we're uh, working on our house, trying to get it up, get it sold, um, get it all finished off. Uh, the steps going up to the upstairs is what I'm working on somewhat today. I'm what I was doing is the handrail is going to be made out of the, the pickets and everything are going to be made out of this half inch um, square stock, solid square stock. Uh, every other every other picket is going to be made a or have a twist in it uh, kind of like um, I don't know if you can see this or not kind of like that hopefully you can see that in the camera I can't tell this is an old camera and it yeah don't I can't see what I'm videoing but so every six inches is gonna have a twist in it like that and it'll be every other picket that'll have that twist uh, Let's see. So what I was doing, I was, I always, Tammy always gets on me <laughs> about not making videos about stuff I do. And I, I should do that. I just, I get to doing stuff and going, 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 and I don't think about video and I'm just like, get it done. And I need to start making more videos. So I was out here working on something. I was trying to come up with something that I could twist, make my twists after they come out of the forge, go on here into my vise, that I can twist and do it quickly. I have this, um, it's just a pipe, an old pipe wrench that I welded a handle on that I can go like that, but it gets a little, when you're pulling it out and stuff, I don't know. but. It, so, a friend of mine, a friend of mine owns a stump grinding business, and when I say stump grinding, it's not just a little stump grinder. It's actually a remote control thing. Uh, this thing is huge. I mean, you can take a stump like that down. I forget it, what it is. It's in a matter of, it's in minutes. Um, like down roots everything and I, I don't remember what it is it's like 15 minutes or so I, I helped him out already um, it's, it's it's incredible but this here is one of the pockets that the stump grinding teeth go into I'll show you one of the teeth here um, this is one of the teeth Hopefully you can see this. Um, that's one of the teeth fits in this pocket, and then that there spins around, and it tears tears up the stump. Um, I mean, the wheel on this thing's like huge. It's not like I said. It's not a little piddly thing that you rent at some rental store or something. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, so, it, anyways, it happens that. This slot is half inch, fits this half inch bar, almost perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this up, dress up these edges, and then I'm gonna take and weld on the side some handles like that. So I can put, let's show you this. Um, so I can put a bar in my vise. I'll be able to drop this over the square stock where I need it to go. Handles will come out either side and then I can just twist it right around and I can just clamp on like that wherever I I need it. I can so I can just take and make a turn, come back 
on, make a turn, right off, back on, make a turn. So that's what I'm going to make. Um, once I have everything made up and I have a piece heated up in the forge and in there, uh, I'll pull I pull one out and I'll show you um, how it's going to work. So, all right, guys, see you in a bit. Yeah. Um, all right. So I got forge going. I had I just stuck these pieces in um, the pickets. I just stuck them in the forge. I had the forge turned down, kind of like loud, um, so you can't wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, won't be able to hear me over the noise of the forge. I got the bender made up. It turned out pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna flip it around and I'll show you here what I what I came up with. Um, going with the whole blacksmith thing, I decided that I would bend loops in the end, put twists in there, and there we go. So that'll come over here. I'll actually put it, put it this way. And I have marks. I don't know if you can see that mark or not. But that mark, I put that mark on there. So I know the distance between here and here. I can drop it right on there and twist it. I have, I, I'm using my, you know, turn the camera right way. Um, I'm using the clamp off of my drill press that I can run my bar right in against there and I know that's exactly where I need to be to lock it in the vise. I did make a mark here. I wouldn't have to do that but it, I think this will make it a little faster. I can run it right in against there. That's my stop and then I have my mark here that I can put my uh, twister on there and there we go. I have 40 six of those to bend or to twist put twists in I have a total of 90 I think it's like 91 um, of these pickets that I gotta uh, weld up and make the whole frame so I wanted something try to make something here that's a little bit faster hopefully this works yeah, so once these heat up enough, that one actually looks like I could um, put it in. Maybe I'll put that in the vise and show you how this is going to work. Ah, da, da, da. All right, there's that. We're going to see. Hopefully you can see this. We'll be able to see this. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, there. Okay. All right. Get this out. Grab my glove that I can grab this. All right. We're coming out of the forge. We're going right up against our thing there. Our vice clamping that. We're putting this right on that spot, and we're giving a good even twist. I think we're gonna go with like that. I think. And I can kind of see, I can kind of look down at there and see where we're at. If it's straight or not, that one needs a little work. What happens is they, they can When you're twisting, it kind of throws it a little funky. But, alright, there you go. There is that. Hopefully you can see this. Alright, 
there's the twist. And that's what I'm going to do to all of them. 46 of them. So, I'm, I'm happy with that bender. Uh, that bender worked out, or that twister, that worked out pretty slick. Like I said, I had to stay with the whole blacksmith thingy. Um, and, and put a twist, a loop on the end. Then I can hang it too. So, make it all nice and purty. So, alright guys. Well, I gotta get bending, or twisting. So, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I come up with some more stuff, I'll let you know. Alright, catch you later guys, and God bless.